<laughs> All right, welcome back to uh, what am I playing again? Welcome back to Terraria. I know um, been a while, you know. My upload schedule seems to be uh, barely once a month, less than once a month, I think. Yep. Yeah. Yeah. Anyway, welcome back. As you can see, I did actually install the uh, Lights and Shadows mod, so that's cool. Very cool. It's just like real life. Shadows are real in real life. Alright, welcome to the comment board. Starting off with Otsika. Been watching you since the first Melee episode came out. Should I have commented something before? That is... I'm trying to think. Like, at least two years ago. That's ridiculous. Thanks for sticking around. I don't know how. I don't understand like half you stick around for some reason. I assume you just forget to unsubscribe for me. My recent hiatus uh, lost me one subscriber. He will be missed. Or she. I don't know. Tragy Lang. Tragy Lang. I don't know. Red's base sus. Among Us. Jitsord. I don't know how... The original comment was like an Easter Island head, but emojis really don't translate into Terraria well, if you couldn't guess. Big Bear Bard says first, as per usual. Good job. Being as I am a dementia patient, I don't rem- yeah, okay. Plaguebringer Goliath. I remember very well what I was supposed to do. Oh lord. Not me fighting Plaguebringer at Binley Mega Chippy. Alright, Abomination. What do I need? I need Obsidian. Alright. Where's my construction dude? There you are. Wow, it's so nice and atmospheric. It is a really nice mod, Light and Shadows. Like, it it does look pretty good. What have I been doing in the past month, by the way? Uh, that's a secret. Uh, but I might have beaten the upside down seat on Terraria with the Labor of Love update. I'm sorry. I've been playing Terraria, like, outside of recording, I know. I should be ashamed. Anyway, oh wow, look, like, this is so pretty. Betsy, uh... NGL, I don't, I don't care about Betsy. Nobody cares about Betsy. Or the Old Ones Army, let's be real. So, quick update, what have I been doing? For the most part, school. That's really about it. Lately, I guess, college admission stuff. The works. Okay, so, thing as boss items are not consumable, I'm just gonna... Give it a trial run, why not? And hey, who knows, maybe I'll uh, beat it. Plaguebringer is not gonna know what hit him. I know I say that a lot, but this time it's uh, it's true. Maybe this will be really easy, who knows. Well, it was close enough. Honestly, like, who cares? Who cares, man? Okay, so that shouldn't be too big of an issue, I guess. Alright, give it another try, why not? Should I make an arena? Probably. Will I? I don't know. Really, I don't know. Will I personally make it? Uh, you know, that's... Not for debate, isn't it? I mean, come on. Let's say, for instance, I did make a platform. Uh, you guys just don't... Just, like, pretend you're not seeing this. Holy crap, where'd that platform come from? That's insane. Whoa. Oh, man. Things are getting spiced up in here. Although, like, half the platform's not going to be usable, because, uh... You know, the whole enraging issue's kind of an issue, and I'm pretty sure he was, like, enraged whenever I was on top of the Bidley Mega Chippy. Uh, so... Fantastic. Very fantastic. In fact, so fantastic, I might just go down here. That might be the best play. Maybe I'm just taking a really stupid approach at this. I tend to do that quite a bit. Listen, we, we, we just don't worry about it. It's fine. Don't worry about it. Like I say, Plague Ringer's not gonna know it hit him. Oh, 
Okay, well, I lost that last fight due to outside sources. Real life outside sources. Try that again. Uh, Blake Brainer's not gonna know it hit him or something. Uh, yeah. Hey oh, didn't even have to use the healing hat on that fight. Too good. Call me David. Yeesh. Oh lord. I got a sword. Never mind. Okay, I'm a bit. Oh, and I got the. Ugh. Both melee weapons. All right. Way to rub it in my face. And a summoning thing. Okay. You guys leave me alone. I'm trying to mourn here. All right. Let's do it again. Well, I got hit three times during that fight. That's not bad, I guess. Oh, uh, that is, uh... None of what I want. You know, to be honest, I don't even know if he does have a mage weapon. Uh, I'll just be at Google real quick. Yes, there is one. Actually, tell you what. I'm not being stupid, am I? Can I just buy these? Please tell me I can buy these. Oh, Lart. I got Malachite. Really? That looks really cool with light and dark, honestly. Oof. Alright. There we go. Finally. And also, I do believe... There was a, uh, a Siren weapon that I didn't get. Whoops. Okay, so this is just a Venom Staff, but like glorified or something, right? I gotcha. Here you go, Plaguebringer. You're cool. Okay, so. Some things we need. Two laser machine guns. Okay. That's not bad. Okay. Alright, what's next on the list of my friggin... Oh! Oh, boy. Oh, boy. Don't tell me. Empress of Light, my favorite boss to ever fight. In Calamity? That's gonna be fun. Or not. It's in the hollow, but it's whatever. It doesn't have to be in the hollow, does it? It can be... Yeah, I don't think it has to be in the hollow. It's chill. It's chill. Guess we'll see if the Plague Staff's any good. Mythical. As per usual, I wouldn't accept anything less. Alright, uh, after further exploration, I've discovered that it is either not a material anymore, or the specific weapon I was looking for has been changed, or... You know, removed. Who knows? I'm pretty sure this used to be the Siren's Lullaby, though. Uh, it's not anymore. I'm just gonna put that up. I never use it. Let's be real. So, the, the most I'm excited about is actually Empress of Light and Duke Fishron. Because both of those, I think, have pretty good magic weapons. 
And so what we're going to do here is just, uh, we're going to be a little bit sneaky. Let's not hit ourselves here. So we are going to go right over here and uh, get some butterflies. You know, nothing, nothing too crazy. By the way, I've also been playing a lot of Risk of Rain too, mm -hmm. as per usual, I guess. Trying to beat Eclipse 8 on Commando. Uh, a lot harder to do, especially considering I'm only on Eclipse 4. So I'm kind of... Well, I'm technically on Eclipse 5. I beat Eclipse 4, but I have not beat Eclipse 5, okay? Eesh. Leave me alone. You know, now that I'm thinking about it, I don't even know if they can spawn in areas that aren't like a forest. Can they? I'm starting to think no. I don't, I don't think that's a uh, thing we're going to be having anytime soon. Okay, bear with me. We're going to do something silly. Can I make holy water? Why can't I make holy water? Uh, yeah, that would be an issue, wouldn't it? Okay. Dryad, come here. Thanks. The things I do for you guys. Like, not upload for a few years. New stream coming soon, I promise. Maybe before this video even comes out, who knows. Wah, wah, wah. Wah, wah, wah. Alright, holy water. We. Uh, would it be too bad if I turned to Cinta Hall over here? I mean, would anyone really care? I wouldn't. Don't worry about it. And that is pretty good, I would say. Not flawless, but it'll work. And then we just uh, do a bit of that. See how this works out. Yep. The amount of enemies is glitching my game out. Lord. We're fighting Empress now.
Oh, it's fine. It's fine. We don't worry about it. Oh, yeah. Whoops. Swell. I can't believe I just said that. Okay. Alright, Jewel of Light. Summons a fairy princess to provide light. Provides a large amount of light in the abyss. Oh, hey. Who cares? Let's be real. I don't. Angela, what's up with you? You happy? I'm feeling good. That's what I like to hear. Oh, Starlight. Loot. These are both of the magic weapons. Okay, well, I cannot be unhappy about that, can I? Okay, we'll see if these two hold up. Maybe, maybe not. Who knows? Okay. Give these things the works. I would love to replace the terror ray in this thing. Like, I'm, I'm getting tired of having to use them at this point. Let's just see how it goes. Face melter. Ah, yeah, nice. Okay. Oh my gosh. That fight takes so long. Oh. Like, it, it, it's exhausting. Oh, I got the kaleidoscope. Wow. Actually, like, good item. And even tied. Whoa. Okay. Let's get over ourselves. Empress of Light Relic. Oh, finally. I did it. Here you go. Uh, cry about it. All in all, uh, pretty good weapons. Yeah, I'm just. No, I'm just not using the Terror Raid anymore. Like, I, I can't. It's too good. Like, it's, it's annoyingly good. I have to, like, make my stuff, like, just not use it. Yeah, the uh, Soaring Insignia is kind of, like, who cares? It's not even infinite flight time anymore. But to be fair, with Calamity, that really wouldn't work, but, you know. Can't blame him. Alright, so today was boss episode day, and tomorrow and the next day, uh, I say that as if I'm going to get these out tomorrow. <laughs> Let me be clear, that's not going to happen. <laughs> next time and the time after that is going to be uh, more boss episodes. Got Duke Fish on and Ravager next. Lunatic Cultist, Ash and BS. Yeah, we got a lot of bosses to do. Not much progression between bosses, I would say. Maybe Duke Fish on get the Razor Blade Typhoon. But like aside from that, there's really not a whole lot I'll be doing between those. So uh next few episodes are gonna be boss rushing. Whenever those episodes come out anyway. Oh well, while I'm at it. I, can I do Ravager? What would Ravager take? Let's see. Death Whistle. Interesting. Can I make a death whistle? What do I need? Lazard bricks. Okay, well that'll take me five seconds. Hope you guys don't mind us doing things out of order around here. Even though having a razor blade typhoon would uh, definitely make Ravager easier, but uh, you know. There we go. Chillin'. It's not like I have anything else to do. I mean, come on. Alright, so this might give us a little bit more of a uh, comparison of how our weapons are doing and how good I am at the game still. So, uh, yeah. Oh, goodness. Alright, Ravager, uh... Stop taking crate potions, and battle potions, and water walking. Okay, thank you. Ravager is still Ravager. I uh, don't know how else to phrase that. Give that another go. We'll see how that goes.
Okay, well, never mind. That fight's really easy once you get to figure it out. Never mind. Never mind. That was actually, like, really easy. Well, okay. Did y'all hear that apparently Ravager's supposed to get a rework? Try to post it on... Oh, yeah. That's what it's supposed to look like. That's what the rework's gonna look like. I'll put a picture of it on screen. It looks cool. I'll see it eventually. There we go. Him Hematemesis. Pretty sure that is an item in... No, Hematitis. That's like a, a pill effect in Binding of Isaac. Alright, permanently increases the duration of Rage Mode by one second, and... Geode. Oh lord. Goodies. I love my trinkets and little treasures. Alright, thanks for having Very cool. We appreciate it. Uh, is Hematis... Is, is Hematemesis any good? I don't know. Why are you asking me? I clearly haven't used it against an enemy yet, but yeesh. Also, Plague Staff. What can I plus if? What can I say about Plague Staff? It was the MVP. Let's be real. I didn't. Even, I didn't even have like my damage mask on for that like half that fight. And you know what? Plague Staff delivered. Plague Staff shined where nobody else could. For that, he's getting to be the number one slot in my hotbar. Thank you, Blake's Staff. We salute you. Here, maybe the twins can help me decide whether this is good or not. Uh, comparatively... Oh, gosh. Okay, yeah. Plague Staff. Oh, my gosh. Shreds. That's way better than Terror Ray. Okay. All right. Okay, well, um, any Mage Calamity players, if you want a good weapon, uh, go for Plague Staff. Reds, okay. Holy crap, I can get this so inaccurate, it goes, like, all around me. Yeesh. Alright, well, hope you guys enjoyed today's episode. Maybe you'll have another one in, like, a month, you know? Mark it on the calendar. I'm kidding. I'm gonna... I always say this, and, uh, you know, I'm not gonna say that I'm going to keep true to this, but I would like to start uploading consistently. Uh, but with, like, school and applying for college and all that stuff, who knows. I appreciate everyone sticking through the fact that I am, like, the most inconsistent man on Earth. You get, like, a 20-minute episode every month. I can understand that might be a little bit, uh, uninteresting. So, thanks for that, and I'll see you next time. Bye.